folks, Tap with AOK Foraging and Adventures here with Brenda. <laughs> I love the thumb back. <laughs> We're off on another adventure. Come back and check it out. Well, folks, we are going camping, aren't we, honey? Yes, we are. We are going to go to uh, our friend Bill and Janice's property down in southern southeast Iowa. We're going to be camping there two nights. Um, and this is also part of our camping challenge for Jason Williams. Jason, this is our July entry. Um, I'll put a link to um, Jason's camping thing, like right here. Some, yeah, I think I'll put it right there. Okay, yeah, right, no, that way, that way. Yep, that way, yep. That's where we're gonna put his link. All right, folks, so we'll come back after we get to the property and after we get set up. See you guys in a moment. Well, folks, we just arrived, and my God, what a beautiful backyard they are allowing us to hang out in. Let me give you guys a view of this spot behind me. So behind me over here is a creek. It's a little dry right now because in this area, they've been more in a drought than up in our area. So let's turn around. Back there, all the way over there is actually their place up there over here so Brenda and I have decided we are gonna put the tent right here in this shady flat spot um, over there is our little shooting area right there's the fire pit let's see it's just just a beautiful area to be letting us camp in it's just gorgeous what do you think sweetheart uh -huh, nice yeah so she's just picking up some sticks and stuff for the fire pit so that way uh, we have our camp kind of cleaned up. We're gonna set up, we'll be back. All right, folks, here is another look at the way we have our tent set up. Remember last time, we did not have the rain fly on there, but this time, look at that. We put the vestibule up right here. So there was a zipper here and a zipper right there. All we did was lift the fly up. We got Brenda's walking sticks right here and here and then we tied guidelines down and we have ourselves a nice vestibule in case it rains um, all we do is pull in the sticks pull in everything zip it back down on both sides and we are sheltered from the rain we can put stuff down there so it'll stay dry and looking through that see how the wind can go straight through it's a very very convenient nice way to just stay cool and stay I mean just having a great breeze oh and Brenda's gonna show you guys the air vents that we didn't show you guys last time so they have these tabs on the air vents that help keep it up see that it's not the greatest but it works so on this side it's only a one zipper system so we just one zipper system right here we zipped it out here and here tied it off to the sides here and there awesome awesome tent check the site below if you guys think you guys might want one all right so that's the tent oh we just totally love it what is the name of this tent hon can you tell everybody it's on our bag right here one nice one nice that's right it's a one nice tent, one nice tent. <laughs> all right folks we're gonna finish setting up but we wanted to show you guys this awesome tent again this time with the rain fly all right we'll come back because I'm getting hungry. So we're gonna eat a little bit and then we'll come back. So before we go to take our little break, we need a place to sit, right? So I have the Wildhorn Terralite All-Terrain Chair. Right there. And what do you what did I get for you, Brenda? The Ann Chair. All-terrain chair. So these are for when we go hiking. We needed something small. This is actually the biggest piece of gear we have other than our tent, correct? Yeah. Yeah, so these are chairs. Let's put them together. So this right here is actually the seat itself. 
Mine came with Velcro snaps to keep the seats together. I mean the sticks together. And we just do a little shake and flip here and there and boom, everything is basically ready. Okay? Right there. Now, just follow the little, little tabs that are right there. That's for our butt side. Now mine's only rated for 250 pounds. Brenda's was rated for 350 pounds. Her poles are a hair bit uh, thicker than mine, but no, you want to put the seat on first. Oh, here. So, but mine is a little harder to put together. I have to actually use my feet to uh, bend the poles. Brenda's, uh, when I put hers together, I did not have to. And mine's ready to go. Yep. It's actually not that hard. <laughs> there. There we go. So, there we go, folks. Now we can relax a little. <laughs> All right. We'll be back. So we actually took a drive around to see where we're going to fish, either later or tomorrow. I'm thinking more than likely tomorrow. But look at this beautiful spot. Oh my gosh, I just love it. Breeze coming up. Prime bass fishing, hopefully. So we're going to bring down the kayaks tomorrow. And let's fish this area. Let's just go a little fun in this big lake. Catch and cook, hopefully. So here is another part of the same lake. I think we came from over there. So we're coming around here. Look at that. Just gorgeous. I love that. Bass like to hide in that. Catfish like to hide in that. So this is awesome. Oh, beautiful milkweeds right here in front of us right here. Oh, some of them have gone into pods already. Oh, I wish I could pick some. It'd be a great meal. But I'll leave it alone because milkweeds here are bring monarch butterfly. So just beautiful. Just, just beautiful. Invasive species alert. Riddle Nyad. Right there. Close to Canada. Goose hunting. But they're blind. Rules. And look at this. So, any bass between 12 and 18 inches are protected and must be um, released. But it is encouraged to harvest anything less than 12 and over 18. Lake. Look at these. Oh wow. Look at that. Look at these lotus flowers. Look at how beautiful that is. You guys see that? Here it is. Fully opened and died away, the flower has. Seed pods are left. It's just beautiful. Beautiful. Less trees around here, except for on the edges. There's some trees over there on that edge. And then all the way around to those trees over there. Nice little boat ramp for us over here. So we don't actually know where the heck we may go. Yeah. Man, I want to pick some of these. us.
Or she doesn't notice us. And the babies. Oh. How many babies? Two. Oh. At least. Yeah. She's got her head up. Her babies are still eating. A lot of times in parks, they're just so... Well, you can keep going you closer. You can't hunt them, so they, they're not afraid. Yeah. Up at Lake Darling, you used to be able to pet one. Which is oh. probably not a wise idea, but we did. Look at kids. mama. Mama looks a little skinny there. I had two of them sucking on my tits. I'd probably be skinny. <laughs> but in the meanwhile, Brenda and I, right down here in this little creek, are going to go look for some arrowheads. Can you see her? That little dot right there, that's her. All right, let's go look for some arrowheads. It doesn't seem like it because it's not very. Oh, look at the little snail on my hand. Look at that. Uh, I got a snail on my hand. Oh, yeah? Yep. There's little minnows in this water. Uh-huh. All right. <laughs> nice butt. <laughs> All right, we're going to keep looking around and see what we find. Maybe uh, we'll pick up something and somebody can tell me what it is. So they all just kind of look like rocks to us. I think we need to brush up on a uh, little bit of, what do you call it? Geology? Is it geology? Yeah, it's geology. I don't know. They all look like rocks. <laughs> a rock is a rock. I mean, yeah. It'd be nice when Bear to CB82 gets here tomorrow because then he can help us identify some of this stuff. Because a rock is a rock to us. So, all right, let's keep walking down this creek and see what's going on. Mm -hmm. See, rock, rock, rock. Hmm. Oh, Brenda, guess what I just found. Yeah, more rock! Look at that! <laughs> oh, I don't think the GoPro is going to pick it up, but there's a ton of minnows over there. So, alright, we got rocks and minnows. Cool. Alright folks, so not only do they have the give us the hospitality of letting us camp on their land, but this is Miss Janice! <laughs> <laughs> and she's making some deer steaks. And some deer loins. Oh my my. Hopefully Jack Whoa. knows how to cook the loins. Oh, they all look good right now. Oh man, over a wood fire. Look at this nice know. big ram. Oh wow. Very, very nice. That's an eagle right there. Holy cow. So beautiful. Love them. I see the bird and that's about it. What? Look at Look at that folks, potato salad, baked beans, deer steak, deer loin, oh, awesome food, what awesome hosts. All right folks, so this is about the end of our day one. We're just gonna sit around the fire, drink, catch up, talk, and just have some good times together. I, as you can see, Brenda's trying to get uh, practice on her flint and steel. Still trying to get, she got a spark earlier, but she's gonna but, keep trying. Well, this one's his. Oh, okay. So, anyone's, anyways, we are gonna be back tomorrow, except for this is the end of day one. Folks, stay tuned and watch the sunset. So, until next time, we hope all your adventures are a okay. <laughs>